Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Now, I am reading for July 20th through the 23rd, Monday through Thursday, for my Libras. How are you, my Libras? I hope that you are wonderful. Now, you know that um, Monday through Thursday, I use my two Bradley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel um, Power Tarot cards for the main message, and then I try to just pull the one from my Angel Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Three cards are face down. The third one's reversed. That has a little more oomph. That's how I read it. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to my higher power, whatever the message is, whether it makes sense or not to me. It just comes through for someone out there. Now, um, I have posted my Libra and Leo season, so please take a look at that. Uh, really, there's a lot of really strong energy going on, Aries, Mars, all this good stuff. Um, also, too, we do have that second new moon in Cancer, all about second chances. Okay, let's see what we have for my Libras for Monday through Thursday. First card up. The Ten of Michael, situation has ended, air energy, your energy, Aquarius energy, Gemini, thought processes, it could be your words, but a lot of this is like some of the worry, some of the stressors, so, you know, there's, there's something that's been going on that's been worrying you quite a bit, and it is done, it is done, it is ended, it, and now, one of the things that you need to do, though, my Libras, is let that go then. Now, it, it could have been even an argument, um, an argument that you probably won, at least on merit, you know, and at least on, based upon those words, you probably won it, but at the same time, they may not necessarily know that you were the one that won, that won it. Um, also, I feel kind of that manipulative energy, not in a bad way, but it's kind of like that energy for you that, that whatever that relationship is, it could, you know, work, job, career, personal, interpersonal, intimate, family, you know, family, house type of thing, home. It's almost like you kind of guided them gently to the right conclusion, okay? So this is that type of energy where you're going to be able to use your words, you're going to be able to use your logic, you're going to be able to guide them gently, to the right conclusion and to the fact that you may not get credit for it because my Libras, a lot of times you don't get credit for all your awesomeness. Um, but, you know, but the outcome will be one that you really wanted, okay? And the thing is, for you, it wasn't, you know, when I say manipulated, it wasn't for your good. It really was for that person's good, okay? And I love this because there it is. She's taking a bow. She's, you know, hey, Take a bow. Take a bow, my Libras. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. That's the one thing that, um, you know, you do have long memories, my Libras. So I'll let you work with that, okay? <laughs> you work on that one. Um, okay, next card, again, the moon. Now, we have that new moon on the 20th, second chances. Second chance moon, second moon, second chances. You know, things are, things, you know, you might not know everything that's going on. You're doing the best. You're, you know, and, and really what you are putting out is for positive energy, but there are things moving forward. So kind of too. Now, I don't necessarily talk to you about your psychic ability that much, my Libras, but you do have that. The thing about it is you don't necessarily, um, want to acknowledge it or deal with it, I should say. And some of it is so natural to you that you just do it. And if somebody was to say, why did you do that? You wouldn't really have an explanation except that, well, that was the right thing to do. Okay. So that energy is going to be following you through this weekend too. So let me tell you that when you're doing something that, you know, and people say, well, why did that happen? Or, um, or the outcome came out better than what people expected. It's because of your own intuitiveness. It's, all, it's your own, well, you, you know, and you look at them like, well, why would it be, why wouldn't I have done it? Okay. But the moon is secretive. The moon has the psychic ability. There is this new moon 
the 20th, um, you know, use that, use that energy. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. You know, that's kind of the same, you know, about putting the past behind, facing your fears. Um, you are really good at helping others. It, uh, it is, so, it, you know, and this is human. This is human. It's, um, you know, you, you, you need, I, again, there's this Libra awesomeness, and I'm not sure that you always see it the way I see it. Okay? Okay. Your last card is reversed. So this week, see it. This one's reversed. Strong energy. Here we go. The Ten of Raphael. This is water energy. So you have these two tens. Two tens. Transition. Leaving something behind. Moving to something better. Okay. And this is Raphael. The end of cancer. Okay. Also, it is Scorpio and Pisces. Fluid. Emotional. This is feeling good about the situation. Feeling good about yourself. You did whatever this was that you helped gently guide somebody to. At the, you know, your intuition is, is working on, you know, it's like working on steroids. You know, your thought processes, it, it's all working really well for you. And you really should be, you know, I hope that you actually feel better about everything. Okay? So, love and blessings fill your life. When I see that, you know, that's always a time to say thank you. Thank you to your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is to you. Harmonious relationships with family member, members happily ever after. So that I mean, there could be somebody coming into your life that could just kind of make the heart go boop, 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 boop. But for the most part, if you're in a stable relationship, it's actually kind of, um, you know, not wanting to, <laughs> not wa not wanting to, uh, you, you know, you're you're gonna the, the person may not irritate you as much as they normally do. Okay. So, Okay, anyway, <laughs> not quite sure who that was for. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Okay, let's go on. And here we go. Last card, not reversed. The six of earth. Now, even though this is earth energy, and that is our Virgo, our Taurus, our Capricorn, solid something, someone we can touch, um, you know, this is whatever this thing that you help to guide, whatever you help to guide, you know, this is about money, okay? And I love this because this reminds me of you, Libra, the balance, the scales, this is about money. So whatever the situation that you were working on, that you were thinking and that you were doing and that, you know, the person didn't irritate you so much, and you were able to gently guide them into the right direction, it is something that pays off, okay? Let's just say it pays off. So, the get, gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. So it could be also that you talked yourself into a new job. Receiving a loan or paying off debts. So I really like this energy for you. I love, you know, hey, we're going into Leo season. I'm going to be optimistic with that. Um, there's this Aries thing going on. You really got to watch that longer reading because Aries, yeah. Anyway, so, you know, you know what to do, my Leo, my Libras, Leo season, my Libras, with the buttons down there. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. But as always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.